A new appliance has been added to the Genus 3 Marketplace. This is a WordPress appliance from Turnkey Linux. Turnkey Linux provide multiple virtual machines, ISOs, and Docker containers for various Linux appliances. You can see a list of appliances by going to turnkeylinux.org slash all, and you can download various pre-built, ready-to-go virtual machines or Docker containers from Turnkey Linux. That's now been integrated into the GNS3 marketplace, and this allows you to very quickly add a WordPress server to your GNS3 topologies. In this example, I'm using GNS3 2.0 on a Mac, but the process is very similar if you're using Windows. To get started, go to GNS3.com, click on Marketplace, click on Appliances, search for WordPress, and click on the WordPress appliance. Click Download Template to download the template to your local hard drive. You could download an OVA directly from Turnkey Linux if you wanted to, but rather than doing that, we're going to use the pre-built Docker container available in the GNS3 marketplace. So back in GNS3, go to File, Import Appliance, Find the turnkey WordPress appliance in your downloads directory and click open. Now information about the appliance is shown here. It's gonna be available in the guest category. It's a turnkey Linux WordPress appliance. I'm gonna click next. The appliance will run on the GNS3 VM. I'm gonna click next. A summary of the appliance is shown here. Console type is gonna be Telnet. There's gonna be one adapter. I'm gonna click next. We're told that uh, there are no default passwords. They are set at initialization time. I'll show you in a moment how to set the passwords up. I'm gonna click Finish. The WordPress appliance is now installed and is available as WordPress under End Devices. So there's WordPress. I'm gonna bring a NAT cloud into the topology. I'm only using that to allocate IP addresses to devices in the network. I'll also add an Ubuntu PC to the topology. I'm gonna to use that to SSH to the WordPress server to configure it. And I'll bring a Firefox device into the topology. I'm gonna to use the web browser in Firefox to check that WordPress has started up properly. I'm also gonna add an ethernet switch to the topology, which I'll run on the GNS3 VM. That's simply to provide connectivity between the devices. So you could use a Cisco IOS V switch if you wanted to, but remember that that device takes a longer time to boot up. These devices boot up very quickly, so I wanna use a switch that boots up almost instantly, and hence I'm gonna use the built-in GNS3 switch in this topology. So there's our topology. I'm gonna to right-click on the Ubuntu server and edit the configuration so that it uses DHCP. I won't do that on the WordPress server because I'll show you how to manually configure the IP address through the console. I'll start up the topology and open up a console to the devices. The WordPress server is booting up and is being configured. In the meantime, the Ubuntu PC has already booted. So while the turnkey server is being configured, let's check that we got an IP address through DHCP on the Ubuntu server. Yes, we did. So you simply need to wait now for the WordPress server to boot up. It's now booted up. ifconfig shows that no IP version 4 address has been allocated. So I'm gonna use nano to edit Etsy network interfaces. And I'm gonna uncomment these two lines and save the file. And then I'm gonna use the command service networking restart to restart networking on that server. IP address has been allocated. So ifconfig shows us the IP address of the WordPress server. Now before I SSH to the server, I'm gonna set a root password in this example of GNS3. And then I'll SSH to the WordPress server. 
and our login, we are now shown a first boot configuration. And here you need to configure passwords. So I'm going to say GNS3 password with GNS3 in uppercase. You can obviously use any password that you want. But notice various passwords are configured, including the password for MySQL and the password for the WordPress admin account. So set your passwords and press enter. I'm just going to use the default email address. I'm not going to initialize hub services. I'm not going to enable system notifications and, and critical security alerts. And I'm not going to install security updates. This appliance is running in a Docker container and is only being used in my GNS3 topology. So I'm not concerned about those security options. So here's my Firefox PC. I'm going to browse to 192.168.122.29, which is essentially the IP address of my WordPress server. And notice we now have a turnkey WordPress website displaying. So I'm now able to access my WordPress site. I can log in as admin. And notice I'm able to access the back end of the WordPress server. I could change the theme as an example. And now when I browse to the WordPress site, notice the interface has changed. So it's possible to run a full WordPress site in GNS3 using the WordPress Docker container. Now, if you want consistency, you may not want to use this WordPress container. You may want to use a, a virtual machine, but what I'll do here is shut the WordPress container down and start it up. And when we browse back to the WordPress server, let's see what happens. I'll open up a console. The IP address of the server is now 198. So the IP address has changed. But notice I can still access the WordPress site. So that's an example of how do you get a WordPress server up and running within GNS3 and use it within your topologies. I'm going to be demonstrating the use of this appliance in upcoming videos to show you how to build topologies in GNS3 and show you how you can access web servers and other servers within GNS3. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.